What's going on everyone? My name is Cynic and welcome to episode number 30 here inside of the Is It Worth It series in Infinite Warfare Zombies. I mean, Jesus Christ, 30 episodes. And it pains me to kind of say this, but this is the last week that I'm going to be doing this series. I mean, as of this recording, we are seven days away from Xbox One and PC players in case you guys buy a DLC on PC for COD. We're seven days away from you guys getting your hands on the Beast from Beyond Zombies map. And after that, if you really think about it, Infinite Warfare is only going to have a lifespan of two more weeks and then World War II drops on the first Friday of November. So I'm sure these last few weeks of October is going to be very eventful as far as Infinite Warfare is concerned. I know we're going to be having a new game mode added into Infinite Warfare Zombies sometimes after Xbox gets their hands on the Beast from Beyond. And I know sometime during this month there's going to be some type of event. I have no clue what the event is going to be or what's going to be involved as far as that's concerned. But I have high hopes and I'm looking forward to October really kind of putting Infinite Warfare out with a bang. Anyways, we'll get more into that topic and the channel and where we're headed and closer to the end of this video. With all of that out of the way, let's get started on the epic variant of today. Now, very quickly, I want to apologize. I held a poll over on Twitter. If you guys don't follow Follow me on Twitter I strongly recommend you guys do because that's where I notify everyone when a video goes live in case YouTube fucks up on notifications or when I announce I'm gonna stream and so on and so forth but I held a poll and the poll was aimed more for the salvos being the video of today but unfortunately I had a small issue with some of the footage so I'm gonna have to redo the salvos so that's gonna be postponed until tomorrow so I do apologize for the inconvenience it wasn't like I purposefully wanted to see what the response was and then say fuck you you guys i'm gonna post what i want it was completely by accident that video will be out tomorrow but the epic variant that we're going to be talking about to replace the salvos is the ebr bomber nicknamed the po6 of infinite warfare and kind of rightfully so the selling point of the ebr bomber is the triad trait which changes the ebr which is normally a semi-automatic in sniper rifle mode and fully automatic in assault rifle mode to a charged three round burst in both modes so regardless if you're playing with it as a sniper rifle or an assault rifle it still has to charge up and then it fires three shots simultaneously you will notice from the start though if you have this weapon the sniper rifle charge up is maybe a second to half a second longer so as an assault rifle you can spam it a little bit faster as well as get those shots off quicker however regardless if you're in a sniper rifle or assault rifle mode the three on burst is not on cycle meaning if you hold down the trigger it will not keep firing you have to manually press the button every time you want to fire this gun which I kind of like the bomber or EBR in general regardless of what variant you have is horrible on ammunition and i kind of like the fact that it's not on cycle it just seems to regulate ammunition better it also comes with the presence of mine as a secondary trait which doesn't really change anything especially if you're the type of person which doesn't hold your breath while aimed with the sniper rifle which inside of zombies makes no point to begin with so just pay presence of mind no attention whatsoever anyways going back to talking about the bomber and its performance and the difference between that and the base ebr as i said the bomber is now a three on burst and statistically there doesn't appear to be any type of difference as far as damage goes the only real thing that's changed is obviously it's fire rate and it does seem to have a four point accuracy buff but that's about it and i'm assuming that this accuracy buff is referring specifically to the assault rifle mode and not so much the sniper rifle mode because it doesn't seem to change anything all that much as far as accuracy goes when you're using the ebr as a sniper now i'm not too sure how long the base ebr is a viable option until its damage caps out and then you have to pack a punch it i've never officially played with the EBR because it's always been a pain in the ass to constantly have to buy ammo or search for ammunition because it's horrible. Unfortunately, the bomber's no different. It's still shit for ammo even though it's three on burst and it does seem to have enough damage to, to carry it the distance. But at the end of the day, the bomber has so little ammunition that you're going to have to either constantly buy ammunition either in the middle of the round or at the end of the round or you're always going to have to pack a punch prematurely for that extra ammunition and that kind of brings me to the next main point of this gun and that's there's two bugs with it. I know for a fact you guys already heard the major one, so let's start on the lesser well-known one that I don't really hear anyone talk too much about. And that's when you double pack this gun and you have the ELO equipped, this gun zooms in extremely close. And that's regardless if you have it in sniper rifle mode or assault rifle mode, you're stuck with this zoom that at first 
kind of seems like it's pretty cool and doesn't really bother you and then it slowly dawns on you that the weapon sway is stupidly high and in assault rifle mode you can't hold your breath so you're kind of stuck with this sway and again dewdrops affects weapons recoil it does not affect weapon sway so even if you have dewdrops you're stuck with this weapon sway that is extremely close and very annoying so if you guys have this weapon do not make the mistake of throwing on an elo just leave the base scope on especially if you primarily use this as an assault rifle the base sight in assault rifle mode is perfect just don't mess with it but this leads us to our other bug that i want to talk about when you have the bomber pack it becomes fully automatic now the very interesting thing about this is in assault rifle mode the charge up is completely removed and it's fully automatic from the start in sniper rifle mode the charge up is still there however if you hold down the trigger it still fires all of the ammunition inside of your clip which i find to be kind of weird why keep the charge up inside of sniper rifle mode and then as soon as the charge up is over if you hold down the trigger all your shots in your clip or emptied now this kind of goes back to i'm happy that the three on burst is not cycled because when you have this gun packed and double packed the fire rate is ridiculous and it's hard to manage when to stop like if you wanted to burst fire obviously like i said if you pack a punch the gun it becomes fully automatic if you wanted to burst fire it it's a little harder to do anyways i know it becoming fully automatic is a bug i was just being sarcastic now a huge benefit to this being fully automatic is someone told me to try this out inside of the beast from beyond boss fight and i'm really happy that they told me to do that because as you guys can see the bomber annihilates the rhino so in case you guys end up having the bomber instead of wasting your time of constantly grabbing the sentinel or any other weapon just pack and double pack the bomber if you guys have it just sit there aim down sight wait for dew drops to ping if you're in director's cut or if you have the perk if not then it's cool just wait for the rhino to pop out and then as soon as the rhino opens its mouth just open fire and by the time you empty your clip the rhino is completely dead now just like with anything else obviously there's some trade-offs the bomber runs out of ammo extremely fast meaning you're gonna have to time your trips to getting ammo and this definitely is a huge challenge if you're playing solo and let's be honest there's no there's no gun that can give you the peace of mind or comfort that the sentinel can or any better weapon than the bomber the bomber is kind of a shaky gun it's got damage but it doesn't have i guess longevity because its ammo reserve is so shitty so if you do end up taking the bomber i'd recommend taking it because it speeds up your chances of getting to the boss fight as quickly as possible and also use it as a secondary use it to take care of rhinos and use it to take care of the blue rhinos or the mammoths as some people stubbornly call them but just know it is definitely possible to complete the main easter egg with just the bomber i did it in this game uh it's just extremely tedious and you gotta like i said plan your trips to get ammunition because the last thing you want to do is corner yourself inside of that car container with a mammoth or with a cryptid or with a phantom so just time your trips pace yourselves the bomber has plenty of damage to take them both out it just it's just a tedious process now just to end off on some closing notes here the bomber also makes quick work of the brute krog inside attack of the radioactive thing i have not gotten a chance to test it out on the slasher inside of the beast from beyond and i actually have not gotten past round 23 on beast from beyond using this as my primary weapon which kind of sucks because on that map it's actually a wall weapon and in any other map its biggest drawback is ammunition so it's kind of weird in beast it's almost too weak to rely on just this weapon and in any other map it doesn't have enough ammunition to rely just on that but if i had to rate this weapon one out of ten a ten being an absolute must one being a complete piece of shit i would give it a seven and a half on every map excluding beast considering it's a wall weapon then on that one i'd strongly recommend it to be like an eight and a half to a nine you know it's a good gun it just does not have the longevity due to its ammunition problems if anything i'd put this weapon like in fourth place i'd say craft the sentinel first craft the butchers maybe do the kiken or the ordinance next and then the bomber should be right behind those two guns but anyways i think that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video i know i said i was gonna talk about the channel and stuff but i may do that some other day later on today i'm gonna have a video coming out just talking about weapons in general inside of infinite warfare so just keep an eye out for that thank you guys so much for watching like always in case you guys did go on to enjoy the video if you don't mind by doing me a huge favor drop a like share it if you found it helpful at all subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel if you're already subscribed then why not turn on that notification button so that way you guys are notified every time a new upload goes live here on the channel my name is cynic thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys i'll see you all later on today